Good morning, Springfield. Pastor Dave here with the announcements. I decided to do these outside the church today. Well, not really, but I thought we could use a change of scenery. Once again, there are not a lot of announcements. The governor has extended the shelter-at-home order until at least May 8th, and from there, they say they'll start opening things slowly. I'm not sure what that means, though we do seem to be in one of the harder-hit areas. When we do get to go back, there will no doubt be restrictions. The official board and I are keeping watch and will keep you posted as things develop. We'll continue with the online services and we'll continue with mailing the sermons to those who are not online. We'll still be having Zoom Bible study. I'm getting very anxious to worship together with you again, but of course, we want to keep everybody as safe as we possibly can. Now, just a reminder, tithes and offerings can be mailed to Bob Pickering at home. His address is in the church directory. Please do not mail cash. Today, I want to give you a word of encouragement. In these really difficult times, we need those sometimes, right? I know it's not quite the right word, but I don't know of another word to use, so I'll ask you to forgive me in advance. You see, I am proud to be your pastor. Now, there are a lot of reasons and a lot of things about Springfield to be proud of, but today I want to highlight something you may not have thought of, our church sign. See, when I pass a lot of churches, their signs just kind of make me shake my head. They often say silly things, things that make me groan, and I wonder, is that the best we can do? But then I see our sign. It's always done by Lucy Cassioli, and, and it always has something on there that's really clever. Something I'm proud to see, something I'm proud to have in front of our church. This week, quoting Psalm 46.10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. And then she starts taking words away. Be still and know. Be still. And then just be. Now it's kind of funny that she put that up before all this COVID business really started. But it couldn't be any more timely. This pandemic has a lot of people very concerned. And more correctly, maybe worried. We worry about getting sick. We're concerned about our loved ones. We wonder if and when things will get back to normal or if some of this is going to be a new normal. The psalmist gives us the solution. Be still and know that God is God. Worrying about the things we can't control or do anything about is just a waste of energy. And right now we need all the energy we can get. Instead, we need to trust God and know that nothing is too big for him. We need to trust that his will and his timing and his plan are perfect. We need to be still and know that. We need to be still. And at the end of the day, we just need to be. We need to trust in the one who can handle it all. Now, believe me, I know this can be hard to just do. We feel like we can't just be. So instead, we worry. And we end up getting so consumed with worry that we end up not doing the things that we could actually do. The Apostle Paul gives us a solution in his letter to the Philippians, Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. See, prayer is the key. Don't waste time worrying. Give it to God in prayer and petition. And notice he says, in thanksgiving. In other words, there are things that we need to be thankful for right now. We need to stop being worried about what we don't have and start to be grateful for what we do have. And we need to keep praying. And when we do, God will respond with the peace that passes understanding, a peace that exists even when it doesn't seem to make sense. We need to come to our Lord in prayer. We need to be grateful for what we still have and for what we can still do. And we need to look for the opportunities to use what he has given to serve him and serve others. Let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for each of my brothers and sisters within the sound of my voice today. 
I pray, Lord, that you would bless each one with whatever need they have today. I pray that you would bless them in their greatest need. I pray, Lord, that you would touch each of them. And Lord, I do pray that you would help us to remember to pray, that you would help us to remember to be grateful, and that you would help us to have that peace which passes understanding. And Lord, when we have that peace, that we would share that peace. Lord, I want to pray for all my brothers and sisters out here today. I want to pray that each of them is blessed in whatever way they need to be blessed. Lord, I want to think especially of all of our folks who are first responders and, and folks who are dealing with health care and everything like that right now, putting themselves in harm's way, Lord, just to help other people and serve other people. God, we pray your blessing upon them. We pray also for all those people who are in what they call essential occupations, things that still need to keep going and still need to keep being done. And Lord, I pray once again that your hand of protection would be upon them, that you would give them peace, and Lord, that you would allow them to do whatever it is they do in a way that honors you so that you would be glorified. God, I do pray that you would use this thing that looks like this huge tragedy, and it is a really big difficulty, but God, I do pray that you would use it to your glory because you alone are worthy of our praise. You know exactly what you're doing at every minute of every day. And Lord, we know that you can make all things work for good for those who love you, who've been called according to your purpose. God, I pray that you would use this time to draw hearts and minds to you, to draw people to you, even right now, even right where we are, God. Be glorified in us. Help us to share your love. Help us to make the call. Help us to write the letter. Help us to send the card, whatever it is, Lord, that we can do to bless somebody during this time. Father, I do want to pray for those who are worried. And, and Lord, at times I have counted myself among them. Lord, I have lost sleep and I sense that my brothers and sisters, some of them are losing sleep too at this time. God, I do pray that you would help us to rest in you. I pray that you would help us to honor you. I do pray that you would meet each of our needs. Lord, I pray for those who are, who are sick and hurting, who still need treatment and who are having a hard time getting treatment during this time of pandemic. Lord, I pray that you would make ways for them to get the treatment that they need so they can be restored to health, healed, and able to move forward in your plan for their lives. God, be glorified in each of us. Lord, in the midst of it all, you know exactly what you're doing. Lord, we can say with confidence that you are good all the time. We love you, Father. Help us to honor you. We pray that you would put an end to this pandemic and draw us back together that we might worship again. And Lord, one more thing, I pray that this experience would make it that we never again take for granted the ability to go and enter the house of the Lord and worship together. God, help us that we might worship you even now. Help us to honor you. May you be pleased with us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, be blessed today and use what you've been given to glorify him. Remember, God is good and all the time, amen.